All right, so this is actually, I just recorded a whole game here. And uh, that's interesting. Um, and I real I didn't realize left of the game, I was up by 134 points. My opponent kept asking for a draw, which is probably a little rude if you're losing by 134 points according to the score estimator. I just killed everything. Um, but then I realized that my Taijin window actually wasn't in my screen capture area. So... Yeah, we get to play, I accepted the draw, we just get to play a new game. Um, we should actually, let me see if that draw actually changed anything on my, it doesn't actually even look up, it doesn't even count on my streak. So this is a rank up game though, if we do win this game, uh, we do go up to one Don. Or not, sorry, we don't go up to one Don, we go up by one Don, so we go up to two Don, I guess. Yeah. I guess we're going to play some Kobayashi. That's what it's looking like here. Oh, guess we're not. No Kobayashi for me. All right. Uh, a lot of choices here. I guess not a lot. Four choices here, I guess, technically. Extend, attach, diagonal, or corner. Mm, I really like the idea of actually invading the corner here. It's, the, it's, it's somewhat inferior, but um, locally it seems really good given that white has a stone here. So let's do it. This might not be Joseki, actually. <laughs> um, I think this is more normally played in the pincer variation, but I already have a stone here, and black already has an additional stone here. It's definitely played more in that context, so this is probably not Joseki. Yeah, I think black should actually just Hane here. And then after I extend, just play here. And that's a pretty good result for black. So, not really Joseki. But we'll see. We'll see what black does. Yeah, alright. That looks pretty good for black. I could just play here, um, which is not a bad idea. How scared am I of black playing here? I'm a little scared. So we'll play really soft. All right, special case Joseki, I'm going to call it. Um, yeah. That moves a little strange. Uh, do I want to push here first? Not really. And then, depending on how black responds over here, I might even be able to come back and connect here. Okay, interesting. Or maybe I don't want to connect here. Uh, he's. Um, yeah, I don't really. I can't really connect here without damaging my corner. So. So we'll just play here. All right, so this is, a little, this is a local loss for me, but black is a little over-concentrated. You guys can kind of see that this stone is a little weird. This stone's a little weird. Black's going to remove that potential for a connection immediately, which is good. And then black should probably pincer this. Probably, ooh, he's going to cut. That seems like a mistake. Uh, this ladder is not really that good for me. But I do want to defend. Alright, if I play here and black cuts, black has to come back, and then we're in this weird fight thing. We're just going to connect. And we just jump, and we'll let black take second line territory. Happy to build the outside here. Ooh, alright, black is jealous of my outside. So, we take away the base, or we get stronger? I think we just take away the base. Let black run out. Ooh, black's going to play small. Okay. 
So, this come on top. Hmm. How to handle this? I could just build while black is running. Um, but I also want to make sure I don't get counterattacked here. I'm basically strong enough to lean. But I feel I feel okay about jumping. Oh, we just sort of harass this group. Uh, I think black should take this point. This seems like a good point. All right. I would like to play this far. Can I play this far? It's a little thin. I also want to keep pressure on. Oh, direction of attack. Uh, can I, I can take this any time, right? If I play, I guess black could shoulder hit, but... All right, let's take this, and then we'll jump out. And black will likely jump here. I can come back and play my farm move if I want to just take points at this point. I can also just continue trying to make this over-concentrated. Which would be kind of the fun thing. Ooh. Okay. Not really anything, but I guess the move is useful. It's a good exchange for uh, for black, actually. All right, so black's gonna take that point, which means we can play here. I'm actually pretty happy about getting this. Uh, now we can. really start to crush this thing. And if black ends up living small here and I get all this outside and I retain my corner, um, black will have a hard game. I don't really want to follow. What's the shape move here? This move is actually interesting. I didn't think black would do that. I thought black was going to Hane for sure. Um... I mean, I can fight, right? Reasonably. Sente. I guess that move. All right, so the problem with this, right, is that black cuts uh, and extends. I basically have to Hane. Black Hane's back. I have to connect. And then black has this move here. This is my problem move. Um... So, I guess the only question is how sente is this against the corner? And maybe it's not that sente. But it is good shape for black. Oh. It's not. The corner is not going to die, but then black's going to live here easily. I'm just going to take the shape move. It's, it's probably a little too passive, but um, it's not like Black's building a lot of points here, so I feel okay about taking a passive point. Mm. Can I play this kind of thing? Kind of can. Um, so I think that's just fine. I can play here, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little bit of a fight. Oh, we'll play anyway. Black's going to uh, just give it up. 
So we'll approach the stone. That's fine. Do you really want this? Is this really what you want in this game? I think we just play here. Um, black can push through now, but I'll get the seal in this white corner, or sorry, this formerly black corner. I'm already speaking ahead of myself because I'm looking at turning it white. I think black needs to lean on this stone like right now and fight this way. Which I didn't actually read out enough. Hmm. Hmm. I'll just play here. Uh, I guess I'm going to let black link up. That's, that's actually kind of a loss for me, even though I'm getting a gigantic control over the entire middle here. Oh, black does not <laughs> want to lose control of the middle. So sure. Again, we'll just come back here. See how black feels about corner. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. We can harass this a little bit more. I can play here, right? And this peep, I can defend here. Just looking at this defense. Uh, looks fine. I'm happy to just to take this. Okay. Let's just play here. Let's see what score estimator says at this point. It says white's only up by about 30. Okay, so black's coming in deep. Very deep. He does have one little friend over here. Let's play it. This is perhaps too solid. Um, but I can actually just cut this off if I want, but the timing is bad. We must continue to attack. I guess we play here. <coughs> And, uh, you know, I can let black actually go through here. Because his shape is bad. Is that actually a helpful move? It looks like black's trying to attack me over here. Which I don't think is very possible. So we're just going, oh, I guess black can build this way though while attacking. All right, so black, I guess, waited for that move. Um, I could actually keep up this attack and just try to swallow the whole thing. <laughs> Which is fine. Let's do it. All right. Mm. All right. Game on. I might have messed up. All right, it's starting to look like actually black will be able to get an eye easily and using this stone being able to run out, get a second eye. All right, uh, I'll play that super ugly move. Well, maybe that should have been diagonal. Yep, we anticipated this move long ago. Um. So here, maybe it doesn't actually do anything. I 
might be too strong around here now. I've got to use these stunts to attack now. I, I've uh, sort of blown my huge lead. <laughs> Given how poorly this attack has gone. So... Hmm, hmm. I mean, I still don't think I'm in any danger of losing. But this actually might be a pretty close game in the end. Ooh, do you really have time to do that? Black wants to make exchange. You can peep and all this stuff. Um... Sure. Well, now it says white wins by 72, but it's not factoring in the loss of these stones. Not sure why black thought he had timing. Maybe he didn't think he could save this, but I'm pretty sure he can. I'm like, just a diagonal, I think, is all you need. Or even just attach here. Oh, still gonna try. Okay. This actually becomes kind of dangerous to do for black. I mean, I guess black has to do this, right? To try to win the game. <clears throat> but all right, Black's gonna take all these cuts. In the hopes of being able to find enough sente to maybe come back here and cut this. There is there is a lot of Aji over here now. I really do need something like an extra move. Hmm. Looks pretty nice move. It's a nice move. All right. Still doesn't get black two eyes though yet, as far as I can see. I'm more worried about this cut. Yeah, this starts to make this cut into a thing. There it is. What if I just honey? Mm -hmm. Nine, eight, seven, six. We're gonna eat a here. Yeah, I really wish I had took a sente move over here. Nine, eight. This cross cut's still really annoying. If black cross cuts, I just pull back. Does that seem? Um, but then I'd have to have a move that captures this. 
well, I still have this sort of thing. Mm. A stone ended up being useful. Very, very useful. And here comes the cut. Push cut. Uh, so first, we play here. And I'm just I'm just trying to basically surround the cutting stones here. If he wants to spend a move here, I go here and I push cut here. Is that a thing? This doesn't really look like a thing. I guess he's just trying to, uh, well, maybe get a few extra points for linking up here. Okay. Um, did I let him get two eyes? Not yet. Um, that actually doesn't make an eye, right? Because of the throw-in? Oh, there's this weird-looking co. Hmm. Nine, I really don't need to eight, play this, right? Seven, six, five. But if I don't, he's got another avenue for moves. Okay. Alright, yes, we know black has one eye. We know this. I do still have a little bit of Aji here, so you have to be very mindful of my liberties. Um, and moves, when black gets a move like this, yeah. <laughs> It's actually kind of an annoying move. Uh, any way for black to turn this into an eye? A little bit. He has these leaning moves. But I think I can just play here. Okay. But now my cut here is defended, so that's a lot less Aji for me. And I just play here, right? No way for eyes. So we're sort of back to this thing, which I don't think works for black. Score estimator says white wins by 91. Oh, we're going to try to push this anyway? 91. Oh, right, Tidegem is cool, because I can leave the score estimator up while I play. Oh, it doesn't add, automatically update every move. Yeah, I, sh I shouldn't win by 91, because Black should be able should have taken this. But that still wouldn't given, have given Black a win, so he can't really play that way. Uh, he's in Yomi 2. That's pretty neat. I think we're going to rank up to 2 Don today. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's do a quick review. That doesn't review in the, on the board, does it? Uh, all right, let's do it this way. So review, I can just click the board. Yeah, black played a cross opening, which is a little strange, but you know, playable. 
not normal. We don't see this in pro games, right? Dual 4-4 um, openings. This move is very strange. I think this should be high. Um, I mean, this is black side. He's building. No reason to be really defensive. And here, I think if I just play normal, let's say we just play this. Oh, my shape's a little weird. This black fix is proper. I mean, white's not unhappy either, quite honestly. And both black and white have a low stun in the middle of their formations. So it seems pretty fair. Um, the other, I could have also done this type of variation. Where black can, black should push there first to maybe just build big this way. And this would also be fair, right? White wants to play move something like this, I guess. Not really sure. But anyway, I sort of played this slightly inferior sequence. And that's good. I think this cut for black is bad, though. Like, I feel like it should be here, at least. All right, because now white definitely doesn't really want to connect here. Although maybe he was thinking this. He doesn't want to become over-concentrated here. Um, but the thing is, if I don't do that, let's say I take this. This is a nice follow-up, too. This is a nice formation. Really nice middle board position for black. So I think if I take that, maybe he just doesn't want me to check. Um, but I... Mm, Yeah, uh, this was weird. I mean, it was a fight. I think here, though, I feel like black really should oops, uh, ref, um, continue to just jump out. Because this capping move looks really large. And white really wants to be greedy here, right? White wants to take a greedy move like here or here. And if you do that, then, hey, um, black, even though white picked up more points here, like this locally was very, very good for white, um, globally it feels like black actually has some prospects now, right? Because it feels like I need to play another move here. And maybe black can, you know, <laughs> mess with me later. Maybe then just build all this. I don't know. This is kind of a weak, a weak sequence, but it gets black group out and gives black the initiative again, even though black takes a local loss. So in the game... Whoops, uh, when black plays this move, that felt, that felt really good for me. Because I was happy to, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't really need a whole lot of points, I already have points. I'm happy just to keep the game momentum in my favor. All right, and the other sequence I pondered for a little while here was if I do play this, and primarily looking at this cut, whoops. I do have the ladder, so that's the only reason why I can, I can think about doing this. And black has a nice move here that, you know, I need to play this side, one of these moves. Like right now, like no choice. Um, but, this does sort of feel like white has ways to deal with this. Maybe actually I need to play here first and just ask black um, if I need to play this. If so, um, I guess that exchange is still not really that good. Yeah, maybe, it, maybe it's not a big deal. I was thinking that this and this would effectively threaten this cut after this move, right? So, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe it is good enough. Maybe, maybe actually this is a really important move or response, I should say. Before I play this, play this move. And so when black, black wants to save these two stones, right? Now, I don't really have anything to be worried about in the corner. Um, because I can make this exchange now. And I can make this exchange. And if black wants to threaten anything... Oh, I, I can't do this yet, right? I have to still come over here and play. But now, you know, black has to play a move like this. Um, to which, you know, I'm just 100% safe. So we would play, you know, this side. Let's just say we play the really conservative safe moves. 
And then maybe black comes back and finds a move like this to yeah, attack. Oh, oh, gotta turn that off. Um, oh, that kicked me out of my review. Where's my review window? Review window? Okay. And maybe black can fight something over here. Oh, maybe you can't because, uh, well, oh, maybe you can. Um, we come back and fight this way. Though, yeah. Yeah, this is a thing. So that's one completely alternative reality here. But I just chickened out, played safe again. I felt like I'd already got the initiative of the game. And I wasn't really willing to just sort of bet everything on a on another fight here yet. So I just played patient. Um, here I could have just uh, played... There's actually a lot of ways for me to deal with this move. Like this is one of them, right? And the thing to worry about this sequence, you know, black gets this cut this way. But that's not, this is a really terrifying, or not terrifying, terrible cut for black, right? Black has two really weak stones, and it's not like my groups are, are weak. They have plenty of friends. So I could play that. The other downside to playing this is black might take this peep. And assuming that I just connect here, um, then come back and play it this way. That's not so bad either. I mean, black could do that versus my variation in the game too. And when I play this, basically I'm asking black, hey, do you want to take this stone? And if you do, I'll just continue to take the outside. Um, I also briefly pondered this move, which is kind of neat, but does leave this little problem. But it's not a problem yet, right? This is not a real thing. But it does, le it does leave, it makes the shape very flexible for both players. So later on, if black does get strength here or here or somewhere, um, you know, black can find a way to take advantage of it. But it does sort of seem like uh, it's a little bit too single-minded on the safety of this group. So, yeah, I don't know. Here, here, I felt um, like black could actually fight in here. But maybe I am wrong. Oh, black does need a ladder. Okay. Um, right, I mean, moves like this just go to ladder, right, because I can play this. Black can't cut here. Oh no, I guess I guess I don't I um black doesn't need the ladder. Yeah, yeah. If I extend I mean the shape is bad for black. Oh maybe this is a disaster for black. <laughs> I assumed it would be some sort of fight like this, and I just didn't feel like fighting. Or I mean I, I guess I guess rather um I guess I welcome this fight. Yeah, yeah. So maybe maybe my move here is legit. This press. I mean, this is strong. This is extra Aji I can use. Uh, so yeah, we just gonna get a whole bunch of sente against this corner. After I cap, this is a really big capture, especially if black if I do, if I can do it in sente, because now this side of the board it's basically mine. Black's corner is nothing. Um, this group is also very friendly to anything in the middle of the board. And so we just develop large, and black has to kind of play crazy. This move... Yeah, I mean, is black just giving up? I don't know. If black's just giving up, sure, but then why did black try so hard to save this later? I think some of you out there are probably wondering why I'm not scared of this. Um, I guess that got played in the game. Number one, I can do this, but I can always do this, too. Right, and I have this ladder. Um, and black has to be really careful about pushing this too far. Um, because there is this sort of uh, kill-cut sequence. So this is a really um, interesting shape. <laughs> right, because here if I... Uh... Alright, so you have to imagine that this stone is not on the board. And you have to know in this type of shape, right, this is a weak point. So... If this stone is already there, and I'm encouraging black to make a shape where I already have the weak point occupied, then that's fine, even though even though it looks like black gets out and splits. Um, it's really difficult for him to do anything with it, because I'm already on the weak point. Isn't that beautiful? So that's why I played this. 
All right, I think that's enough uh, review for today. I do want to, let me double check and make sure my rank did go actually up. No, it still says I'm one down, what the hell? Hmm. Maybe I have to start another game. I guess we'll find out in the next Sandbagger game. We'll see if I'm playing as a Tudon. I think I am. I should be. And we'll play some uh, Sandbagger games at Tudon. So, yeah, thanks for watching.